Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And several weeks ago, I found a parcel in my daily mail, and it contained three miniatures of the new Mordlach series of the proprietor Diageo. Uh, I tasted already the rare old here in this video. Today, I will taste the 18-year-old and the 25-year-old will come in a few days. The bottles aren't in the market yet. It's summer 2014 and it's said that it will appear on the market uh, late June, July and it will be available worldwide. And so uh, let's give you a few impressions of this whiskey. Um, I said a lot to the distillery and to the new series uh, in the video about the rare old uh, to make long things short. Um, Mordlach is one of the very few distilleries who, which is able to distill three times. They have a, a wash still, an intermediate still and a spirit still. They have reflux bowls for a smoother uh, spirit and they, as I learned, intermix the output of the third still with a second still uh, and they have a 2.81 distilled single malt whiskey. This is shown on every bottle. Every bottle has 43.4 ABV. This is the new cask, uh, the new strength, bottling strength for Mordlach. There will be a fourth bottle on the market. I haven't had my fingers on yet. Uh, with a higher ABV, I think it's 49%. Uh, it's only avail available over, uh, in the travel value global distribution, whatever. It's called I've written I've, um, GTME, Global Travel. Hmm. Middle East. Ah, those abbrevi abbreviations. Um, the 18 year old is a mixture of ex bourbon cask matured and sherry cask matured malts. And there had been a flora and fauna series with 16 years old, but that was, I think, completely matured in ex-sherry casks. So here we have a mixture um, between smooth, uh, elegant American white oak casks and uh, sherry casks with a intense sherry fruit intermixed. The bottle has only half a liter in Europe and 0.75 liters in the US because half a liter bottles aren't allowed in the US. There are still some regulations in place, yes, hmm? the Americans, the North Americans. Vanilla, caramel and orange peel. <sighs> Underneath some little sour fruits like citrus, like green unripe apple and this mixes together to tropical fruits. There's some some nuttiness. Walnut, almonds, and a sugary sweetness. Yeah. It said there is cinnamon and star any seed. I can't find those later, those two. Very intense orange peel citrus aromas, sweetness, a wonderful complex note and beginning oakiness, spiciness.
Oh. The beast. In the beginning, it's very smooth, mellow in your mouth, and an oiliness appears inside of your mouth. But then, the longer you have it in your mouth, the more intense the spice becomes. And yeah, it's mouth watering. Ah, oh, there is no ginger. It's ginger is too sharp. It's like a a sweet pepper. Fresh ground sweet pepper. There's some sandalwood licorice. A light bitterness appears from the oak, like in dark chocolate. And in the aftertaste, quite long, becoming drier. The first fruitiness vanishes. And the orange, the orange peel combines with the oak. Strong. Orange peel, tropical fruit, strong the beast, the tip of your tongue, warming, rewarding, some oakiness appearing, dark chocolate. And the sweetness disappears slowly, fading away, giving the dryness its place. <sighs> A wonderful dram. Really expensive. It's sad. Uh, the suggested retail price is 180 Great Britain pounds for a half a liter bottle. So you should reach easily 250, 270 dollars in the US, easily for the 0 0.75 liter bottle. Ah, don't spoil a drop. The beast. Ah, sandalwood. Licorice. Thank you for watching. There's more to come. The 25 year old in the next days. Um, Stay tuned, feel free to leave your comments and give this video to your friends. Thank you.